Hi, good day everyone. This is Lizelle and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to share you guys my do it yourself sprouting of moon beans since this is the common ingredients in Asian stir fries and salad. As we know that moon bean is a legume rich in protein, fibers and vital nutrients. So through sprouting, it increases its nutritional value, making it more palatable and digestible. So not only that one, through sprouting, it helps us save money in a way that we can do the sprouting at home so we don't need to buy it in any supermarket every time we need it in the kitchen. So it doesn't need also a big space, pot, soil, or even an exact or the right uh, climate to do the sprouting. So to start with, let's have these materials that I've gathered around my surrounding and let us see how they are interrelated with each other through the ideas that I've come up in the way that I sprout the This is all the materials guys that I found around my surroundings. So I will show you all of this one by one. First one we have the rice measuring cup uh, to measure the moon beans. This is what I found in the kitchen. The second one is the bowl for washing the moon beans. The third one is the two skewers. I don't know what's the use of this. I've just, uh, I've just took it. Whatever, we'll see. We have the two thin cloth. Actually, I just took it from the storage. So it's the cover of the uh, furniture table. We have the towel. The rectangular plastics with a uh, lot of holes, square holes in its sides and at the same time the square holes at the bottom part. We have the big rectangular plastic for putting the water um, for the moon beans to remain uh, moist, moisture or whatever. Well, if you forget the time in terrible needed to water the moon beans and of course guys our our subject matter the little berries the small berries <laughs> in Tagalog we call this uh, mongo this is the moon beans actually we will not um, put this one all we will just take half cup of this uh, measuring cup, nice measuring cup. So that's all, guys. Let's start the uh, the procedure in sprouting my mung bean. I prepare one half cup of mung beans. So I use this one as my measuring cup since this is all I have. And then we will just wash this one to remove some impurities and unwanted stuff on it. to wash this one repeatedly until there is no such thing that floats <laughs> okay. so there you go we've washed it already we will just uh, put water on it And then 
we will just set aside this one for an overnight and let us see what will happen by tomorrow so this is what happened after soaking it overnight so we will just wash it wash it So as you can observe, uh, some of the seed cut are getting away from the seed. So there you go, we will start the growing process of these moon beans. So we will just transfer this one to this uh, rectangular container. But before that one, we need to put something on its bottom. So, there you, go. you can put cotton, cotton towel, or tissue paper. As you like so the purpose of this is to let the water drain immediately since the container has a rectangular space so when you water these moon beans so it will drain fast so we will just put this one here Evenly. See to it that all the spaces will be filled so that it will grow uniform. Put this one in a container to prevent shortage of water in case we forget the time interval needed to water the moon beans. So I've decided to put it here and I fill this up already with water. But since the container of beans is smaller than the container of water, the tendency if I put this here is that it will sink down and it will go through the water so we will find ways on how to deal with it so what we will do is that i've got two sticks here so we will just insert these two sticks through and through the first hole the first upper holes of both corner in this container So the tendency of this, if the water evaporate, it will just circulate all over the moon beans and it will remain hanging over the water. Cover this one with the same thing that you put at the bottom part of this moon beans. And 
the last one is cover with damp dark towel so that still the moist will be circulating on the upper part of the molds put this one in the dark place it could be under the sofa under the bed under the table or anywhere where the light doesn't strike so let us see what happened on its first day so there you go you will see oh my god so as you observe the tails are started to coming out this is what happened on its first day so we will just water it and return back to its third place so let us see what happened on its second day there you go so as we observe the stems or what we call uh, the high pocotil because it's in embryonic period are becoming more longer than the first day so that's it this is the third day of its growing let's see what happened so as we can observe it grows to its upright position and the color turns into purple perhaps it caught little rays of light even we put it in a dark place so let us pick one there we go so as we can observe the hypocotyl increased two times longer than on its first day and the lips started to come out from the cotyledon so we will just water this again and let us see by tomorrow if we can harvest it already so this is the fourth day of its growth so let us see what happened there you go we will remove this one so all of them are sprouting so as we can observe the length increased day by day yet it overcome the height of the sticks the height of these two sticks that i put here So we can harvest it already but I want it to grow a little bit inch so that it would be nice to see. So this is the fifth day that I intended my sprout moon beans to be harvested. So let's see if it meets up my expectation. So there you go. As we can see all of the beans sprout nicely and the length of its growth just almost all the same so i think it's good enough to prepare any kind of dish so it's time to harvest so now we will harvest 
our sprout moldings so we will just remove this one from this container and transfer it here this is it look look how it grows uniform so that's it guys that is the way that i do my sprouting of mung beans through the availability of these materials that i've gathered around my surroundings so if you think that the videos is helpful in adding more ideas to the way you want your sprouting to make at home or anywhere so don't forget to like share it to your friends and subscribe hit the notification bell so you will be updated for my upcoming videos that's all thank you very much for watching and have a good day